In this paper, we present a deep reinforcement learning approach to solving local path planning among pushable objects, also known as the NAMO problem. First, a bit of brief context about NAMO. In this problem setting, the agent is able to manipulate the environment in order to navigate from one point to another. For example, the agent can push a chair out of the way, pull a table backwards, or maybe lift some bags and small furniture. Existing literature has tackled this problem with some form of search-based methods. But with simplifications such as lack of sim to real demonstrations, constraining obstacle manipulation in an axial aligned fashion in the x or y direction, and furthermore the computational complexity of these search based methods are often exponential with respect to the number of obstacles. In this work, we try to address these points using a deep learning approach. We train an advantage actor critic policy in the NVIDIA Isaac Gym simulator. An example of the environment we will train is shown in the screenshot on the left here, where the robot tries to traverse through the obstacles to the goal position here labeled as blue. A benefit of using neural network is that it achieves constant computational complexity with arbitrary number of obstacles. Our policy also pushes obstacles in a non-axial line fashion, which is much more realistic setting. Lastly, we also demonstrate that our algorithm is easy to implement on different robots using high-level controls, and that the physics simulation helps us smoothly bridge the same to real gap. Here in the video, you can see an example of a quadrupedal robot implemented with our train policy. You can see that the robot is able to reason which boxes to push in which order in order to get out of the room. Here we demonstrate a few more examples of the robot solving different kinds of number problems locally with different number of boxes in the scene. The videos here are played at half speed so it's easier to see what's going on. We believe what we've demonstrated in this paper only scratches the surface of the full potential that could be achieved using deep reinforcement learning. In future works we're going to explore ideas such as how can a robot deal with objects of varying sizes, shapes or weights where we hope that the robot can learn in real time how an object moves by interacting with it. We also want to explore the generalizability of the network in different map configurations. For example, perhaps we can put two of these local number problems very close to each other. And another idea is to use a camera only input, which results in an even more flexible policy to translate into the real world. Thank you.